Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 191 of Report This Post, a podcast about bad posts and bad people. My name's Geiger, and that is Christian. The Lord be with you. And we're your hosts with The Posts. Every week, Christian, myself, or a listener select a different topic and then find horrible posts for your listening pleasure. This week's topic, as chosen by a listener named Andrew, is Catholicism. That's right. Catholicism, eh? What the hell is that? It's a religion. I'm not particularly... Uh, my Both my parents were Catholic. Okay. Uh, and I don't know anything about it. Uh... There's a pope involved. I know that much. Yep. There's that guy. Uh, some pop popple stuff. Um, popple. Yeah, popples. You know the guys that roll up in a little ball. Uh, what do you uh, mean by popple exactly? Popple. P a p a l. That's the. Uh, Isn't that papal? <laughs> PayPal, <laughs> folks. If you want to send us some money. <laughs> uh, I, well, I don't know how you do that, so. Uh, here's the ba- base, bo- basic beliefs of Catholicism. Sure. Uh, the chief teachings of the Catholic Church are God's objective of ex- existence, God's interest in individual human beings, uh, who can enter into relations with God through prayer, the Trinity, the divinity of Jesus, the immortality of the soul of each human being, sure, and each and every one being accountable at death for his or her actions in life. <laughs> so Brutal. Yeah, so Catholicism is one of the big ones, from what I understand. Uh, the big three, yeah. Yeah, I as uh, we've talked about it before. My as a knowing religion as a kid, I knew fucking nothing. I just thought it was all the same thing. Sure. And I thought I definitely remember the thinking the Pope was just like the president of religion, just yeah, of all of all <laughs> Christianity. Like, yeah, sure, he's sure. Like sure, that's sure. the guy just in charge of all the. Yeah, he was like the king of... The figurehead, yeah. Yeah. Like, I didn't know that, like, people who aren't Catholic that are Christian would be like, I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> that guy's a fucking joker. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so we'll hear we'll hear from some of those folks in this episode. Um, people have some strong opinions about the old, uh, the old Poperoni over there in uh, Vatican City. Uh, now, Andrew... The listener who chose this topic. First of all, how did he choose this topic? He purchased this topic over at storeenvy.com. Uh, no. Oh Report this post.storeenvy.com. Just go to reportthispost.com. <laughs> You'll see something, <laughs> some way to choose an episode topic. You click on that, you can buy it. It's still on sale, I think. I don't know. Uh, it's 50% off right now. Go look at it, check it out. Uh, we are booked almost through the end of the year somehow. Get it now, folks. Get your Christmas orders in now because uh, yeah. we're currently chewing through some Christmas orders. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Less work for us. Um, uh, but the reason why Andrew chose this topic uh, is as thus follows. I chose Catholicism as a topic because Catholics seem to love to diddle kids, and I'm sure there will <laughs> be plenty of stinky posts about them. Brother, you in line. Also, my first two ideas, Kanye West and Taylor Swift, were already in the queue, and I had to pick something. <laughs> That's right. One Episode 172 and 178 for Kanye and Taylor Swift, respectively, if you guys yeah. want to go back and listen to those very good episodes. Uh, yeah. Uh, when you choose an episode, sometimes you'll choose one that's already in the next six-month waiting list. <laughs> the window. So, well, what else do you got? And so, then you come back with something that's uh, somehow significantly worse yeah. than the one that you chose. Uh, but I think this one's pretty good. There's a lot of really, really bad posts in this one. He's, he's not Andrew's not wrong about it. No, it's a bad topic. It's a bad. Uh, I think it's a bad religion in general, and mm-hmm. I think the people that follow it are terrible. So um, that includes ninety eight percent of my family. So. Hmm. Uh, somewhat timely. I'll be going to New England next week uh, for a spell. And that's where there's a lot of Catholic folks, famously, right? Um, the only thing I knew about New England is H.P. Uh, Lovecraft, so uh, he was Catholic. So. And that was an episode we did as well, too. <laughs> episode, like, 88 or some shit like that. You would think 88 would have been something else, but hey, whatever. Uh, well, cool. Speaking of something else, uh, let's read some posts. Hey, speaking of 88... Mm. Reddit user Free Speech Forever eighty eight mm. <laughs> went to the subreddit R Catholic Dating. Yes, it exists. Oh boy. To post 
Have any other real Catholic men in the U.S. started losing hope about finding a Catholic woman who doesn't support abortion? Good timing with uh, all this, uh, this episode timing. of yeah. all the uh, aborty talk going on lately. <laughs> aborty talk. I am deeply saddened by the disgusting response among American women to abortion. To see so many women protesting for the right to commit infanticide makes me want to puke. <laughs> you might say then, well, that's not Catholic women. Sadly, though, the statistics on how the majority of American Catholic women feel is not encouraging. Most American Catholics, according to the most recent stats, and our ever, ever so holy, ever so holy President Biden, love abortion. Mm -hmm. For me, a 33-year-old Catholic man, it's even worse because women in general in my age group are abortion lovers. Mm. The level of outrage amongst women in general in the U.S. about not being able to murder babies makes me almost want to give up on dating in the U.S. altogether. Got to note that he said dating in the U.S., not just dating mm -hmm. altogether. So, <laughs> great. Buster 2 Muster replied, I've never met an abortion lover. <laughs> and Hair Lair Doshmich responded, you're lucky then. I've met tons. Usually they're waving sex toys or their breasts at priests or writhing on the ground in diapers while screaming things like, delete us the fetus, send it back to Jesus, or I love abortion. Mm. Sometimes they just scream, fuck you or shut up. <laughs> the diapers thing is a common satanic exhibition. They dress up in adult diapers, BDSM harnesses, rubber baby masks, and then go out in public in front of abortion clinics where Catholics are praying. Then they do things like grind on each other, writhe on the ground, wail, and pour milk over their bodies. Mm. Happens all over the country. Yeah, that's all true. <laughs> no doubt about it. Yeah, women do do be loving killing babies these days. They sure do. They sure do love to delete us the fetus. Yeah, that that is... I mean, if any woman that does say that, you should not talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> like, there should be some sort of, uh, s some sort of, uh, what's the term, uh, modesty with your fetus killing. With, with how much you love abortions. Yeah, you Just go, <laughs> going on a date, picking a woman for a date. And she walks out of the house with a giant I heart abortions shirt on. Yeah, you don't want that shit. You just want a normal gal who's like, look, if I... I mean, you know, I think I would want the girl that says, I'm ready to get this thing out of me, though. I'd be, to be honest. Yeah, but not the one who's like, I want you to come inside me so I can kill the baby. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's Pulling a little different. the shoebox out from under the bed. Yeah, let's add to the collection. Yep. Okay. I just got a whole jar full of these little fucking <laughs> little wormy guys. Are these, what are these, uh, pickled eggs? Oh, no, actually. Um, <laughs> Tastes like shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> Great. <laughs> hey, a gentleman over on there on uh, 4chan asked this question to the uh, alt-right politics board over there. Sure. Slash poll. Why isn't slash poll traditionalist Catholics yet? 2% of participants approve of contraception, even less approve of abortion. 99% attend weekly mass. Only 2% approve of homosexual, quote, marriage. And the average traditional Catholic family has six children. Okay. And another anonymous user responded, For the same reason I don't live in a N-word neighborhood, I don't want my kids to get raped. Hey, you know what? Fair enough, you know? <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Indeed. Sure. Yep. Uh, that is uh, why the internet site is not uh, <laughs> I like how it goes from <laughs> why isn't this website sub uh, full of traditionalist Catholics to I don't want my kids to get raped <laughs> fair enough man hey you know what when you're right you're right yeah. and this guy is right this guy is extremely right, of course, in many ways. Yeah, this is 4chan, after all, and they are known for being correct about a various Almost number everything, of things. yeah. Very true. Well, good for them. Hey. <laughs> On a completely different note. Sure. Anne Rice, 
Mm. Was a lady who authored a whole bunch of gay books about vampires back in the 70s. And she was also a pretty vocal supporter of the Catholic Church, oddly enough, Mm -hmm. until 2010 when she went to Facebook to announce, for those who care, and I understand if you don't, thank you, (laughs) today I quit being a Christian. I'm out. I remain committed to Christ as always, but not to being Christian or to being part of Christianity. It's simply impossible for me to belong to this quarrelsome, hostile, despicuous, and deservedly infamous group. Mm. For 10 years, I've tried. I've failed. I'm an outsider. My conscience will allow nothing else. A guy named Matt replied, I respect that, Anne. But for someone with your intellect and experience, I'm extremely shocked that you are one who stereotypes all Christians as one group. Many, but not all Catholics, have been corrupt for 1,000 years. But singling out Christians as hostile, coarsome, despicuous is an extremely stereotypical statement originally originating from the far left atheist corners. Mm. I am saddened that you don't see that. There are many Christian sects that are quite genuine, never ask for money, do not judge you, etc. For instance, I consider myself non-denominational and am part of that group. We even allow gays to enjoy our services. (laughs) That's awfully wide of you, man. Appreciate that. (laughs) <laughs> we, we open the doors of our church to everyone uh even homos yeah can you imagine well Anne rice that's a name i haven't heard in a while she uh well she did die so oh, that's, that might have something to do that's with probably it. why you don't hear about her yeah. much anymore <laughs> you know what i didn't even consider that but that makes a lot of sense yeah well we miss her uh, some people do <laughs> i don't know who but some people really probably Sad about God, those gay... never gonna have another Lestat book again. How can I go on? Lestat is that is that a character? Yeah, Lestat. The, the, that's the vampire from. Uh, is that Brad Pitt or Tom Cruise? That is Tom Cruise. Gotcha. The vampire Lestat. Saw that movie as a kid. And, I think uh, that's another one that you like. It's a real slow burn. It's another good one. Yeah, I even as a kid, I remember thinking like, <laughs> "This shit's gay as." <laughs> Yeah, I feel like, was that one of those, remember my parents running it from Blockbuster, was that one of those two cassette deals, or was that? I think so, it was pretty, it's a pretty long movie, yeah. Yeah, that that was always a special time to get that. It felt like you were, uh, you were stealing, because you got two tapes for the price of one. <laughs> parents are like, hey, uh, Kirsten Dunst is in this, and she's your age, why don't you sit down here and watch this uh, homoerotic vampire dramatic thriller Oh, that's three and a half hours long with us. My parents are the kind of folks who would be like, "There's no, there's nothing gay about that at all. There's nothing, there's no undertones of any kind. <laughs> just, the, just the two guys kissing. I'm like, no, oh, they're just, just obviously they're friends. They're vampires. You know, they're monsters. So <laughs> that's why they're doing that <laughs> to illustrate <laughs> how how horrid <laughs> they're disgusting undead creatures. So that's why they're kissing each other. <laughs> but. But they are welcome in the church, not the denominational <laughs> church. Thank you, Matt. Uh, this is a post uh, from Reddit. I am Norse pagan and live across from a Catholic church. <sighs> I pray to the same gods the Vikings of old prayed to. I don't know much about it because trying to find information that isn't conflicting about it is like finding a needle in a haystack. I want to show that I am not Christian. I want to wear the Mahosner around my neck to feel closer to the gods with just one big issue. I still go to school and live across from a church. My city has a very large immigrant and Middle Eastern percentage. Not a bad thing in general, but it gets bad when literally half the students in your school are Muslim and do not accept that other religions exist. I've seen girls be yelled at by said students for wearing a cross. After bringing it up to teachers, the students in question spin it on me, calling me a Nazi and the sort. (laughs) Also, my teachers don't accept that my religion exists. (laughs) I've talked to my counselor. She was a tad confused at first, but understands that this is what religion I am a part of. I had communion, and through the years, I've noticed that my church doesn't accept other religions, not even Islam. I live with my father. He's Christian and has openly said he finds two guys kissing disgusting, which is a problem because I am pansexual and my girlfriend currently still has a male body. Oh, man. He doesn't understand that there is more than just gay and straight. I honestly lost all confidence that I can come out as either a Norse pagan by wearing a Mjolnir, nor as a pansexual without severe backlash. God. This poor kid is just straight up doomed. Like, to be, to have, like, (laughs) to have the interests that you do 
in the Norse pagan shit mm-hmm. already. Okay, the odds are already stacked. Sure. But then, like, the everything, like, that's a hell of a hand to be dealt to just be like, yeah, I'm going to uh, follow religion that nobody really knows about. And, uh, I, oh, I'm paying, like, just, like, stacking, just... By the way, no one knows about this religion, including him. He's like, I keep trying to find stuff about it. I just I can't find anything. I think it's really cool, though, and I am going to base my entire life around it, but... I don't know anything uh, about it. Just clueless. So if anybody could help me out. It's got a, I found a cool necklace, so that's my entire identity now. <laughs> yeah. It's Thor's hammer. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the whole Nazi thing, though. Yeah, probably people will. That is, that has been the, the whole Norse thing has kind of gotten eaten up by that those folks a little bit. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, poor kid. I hope uh, he gets to go to art school and find himself and figure out what the hell his deal is. So. Just suck your girlfriend's dick and uh, enjoy, <sighs> enjoy your life, man. Have fun That's a it. hell of a setup, too, huh? My dad doesn't like the idea of two guys kissing, so my girlfriend, who I bring in the house under the guise of my best friend jared mm-hmm. um yeah <laughs> yeah well good luck to that kid hey folks picture this the sun is shining your shirt is off and those beautiful man tits are full and your balls are completely smooth but only thanks to our friends at manscaped this summer you want to kill some cold beers and barbecues not kill the vibe with your pubes peeking out of your swim trunks That's why Manscapes has their Performance Package 4.0 to keep the party in your pants looking crisp and refreshing all summer long. Dive headfirst into summer by joining the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get ready for hot guy summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with the promo code REPORT. Yeah, the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 is everything you're going to need to prepare that summer body. Uh, I have one year-round, a perfect... uh, (laughs) Uh, uh, statuesque body, of course. But for those who who aren't as uh, pristine as I am, uh, you can use the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0. Inside this package, you'll find the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker, ear and nose hair trimmer, crop preserver ball deodorant, crop reviver toner, performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold all that stuff. The Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer features a cutting-edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin-safe technology. The Lawnmower 4.0 has a 7,000 RPM motor, a new multifunction on and off switch with travel lock, and it gives you the ability to turn the 4,000K LED spotlight on and off when needed for a more precise shave. And who doesn't like to get wet during the summer? This trimmer is waterproof. From the shower to the lake, from your chest scruff all the way down to your ball fro, the Lawnmower 4.0 is the best trimmer around. Mm -hmm. Once your downstairs weeds are taken care of, look after the rest with Manscaped's liquid formulations. Use the Crop Preserver Mm -hmm. Ball Deodorant to stay cool in the heat with a soothing aloe vera formula. It's the best in the business for below-the-waist freshness. Mm. Yeah, below-the-waist freshness, not just for the ladies. (laughs) Not just not just for you broads. That's right. <laughs> now, Manscaped even threw in two free gifts to their Performance Package 4.0. They added the Manscaped boxers and the Shed Travel Bag that will bring your comfort to the next level. Uh, winning. <laughs> uh, Want to take your grooming game even further? Take a look at Manscaped Shears 2.0, a package that has everything you need to look pristine, including nail cutters, tweezers, and grooming scissors. This is the good kind of grooming, folks. <laughs> with the performance package, your balls will be ready to impress, but make sure you cover the rest with the Shears 2.0, and you'll be ready to perform from head to toe. Be sexy this summer and get 20% off plus free shipping with the promo code REPORT at manscaped.com. That's 20% off, plus free shipping with the promo code REPORT at manscaped.com. This is the summer to turn your package into the pool, well, the pool package, and <laughs> that's true. the full package with Manscaped. Hey, speaking of folks, a lady named Naomi asked this over on Cora. My mind said blasphemies against the Holy Spirit out of nowhere, and now I keep asking God for forgiveness. I might have OCD, but God must just be mad at me right now. I told Satan to stop and leave me alone, and he won't. Am I going to hell? Help me, Jesus. Nomi also asked, 
Hi, I was working the night shift a couple days ago and I kept hearing voices of nasty things about the Holy Spirit. Mind you, I believe in God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. I also read the Bible. Did I commit the unforgivable sin? I'm worried. A guy named John Bard answered, What I would suggest is that you go to your local doctor. They will probably do a number of tests on you, as you could have an unknown infection or some other illness, which is causing you to have oral hallucinations. Mm. Oral, not oral. Not oral, oral. Yeah, the A-U-R, which I... St- Still not exactly sure what that word means, but... Audio. Is it? Audio, yep. Why don't they just say audio, then? I don't think that's a word. (laughs) Oh, that might have something to do with (laughs) it. Yeah, so Nomi is uh, hearing voices and uh, thinks the Lord's speaking to her, and this guy's just saying, uh, go to the doctor. (laughs) Uh, Maybe a witch doctor. Maybe that could be the idea. Uh, Put the lime in the coconut, right? Mm. That's a witch doctor thing, right? I don't know what that means, but it sounds unbelievably racist. <laughs> <laughs> That's Maybe a Harry Nilsson song, the source, everybody. Probably the it's... whitest guy in the world. Is he? Harry Nilsson? You know, I don't even know. That's one of those songs I just assumed uh, just came out of the planet. There's no one that actually <laughs> wrote it. <laughs> like the... Uh... Banana uh, come Mr. Tallyman song like it just exists like nobody yeah. wrote it it's just part of the yeah. the fabric it's just of part reality of the American canon. <laughs> There's no yeah, yeah the, 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 <laughs> the pilgrims were coming over singing come Mr. Tallyman on yeah. that working on the Mayflower <laughs> whistling along. That's right. All great Caribbean things started from uh, from white guys. <laughs> That's, what we're get- that's really what we're getting at here. The <laughs> blues, the think, culture. jazz, all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, they stole rock and roll from us, okay? In fact, even the slaves were all white. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> it's just been a big lie. Red hair. <laughs> bright red hair. <laughs> just pale, freckled. Yeah. Uh-huh. Great. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hey, user uh, Dirty Paper Plate asked, mm. why do enemies of life target the Catholic Church over uh, greatawakening.win, <laughs> which, of course, is the main forum for QAnon yeah. people? Well, user UK9994 <laughs> had this uh, pretty interesting response here. <clears throat> the Roman Catholic Church has been perpetuating a lie for thousands of years. It is the fact that it was aliens that fell from mm. heaven... And they know that, and as they say, Yahweh, only begotten son, Jesus, is the only way to get to heaven, is a lie, and they know it. (laughs) These aliens were wicked, made the people pay them in silver shekels they used to gamble with amongst themselves, and they had to make fortified wine for them and get covered in antibacterial oils before approaching them. They raped the women and demanded the abdomen fat of babies, children, and women burnt for them. Girls over three were raped. Sound familiar? (laughs) Mm. They had 23 different types of space vehicles and robots. They came 5,000 years ago. <laughs> Abraham, Noah, Enoch, Cain, and Abel were made by aliens, and they rode the heavens. They did not die. Are they still here ruling with ruling us with the help of the Vatican? <laughs> the Vatican that says it owns all of our souls? Well, no one came, uh, no one responded to him at all, so he came back uh, a couple hours later and added his own reply, sci-fi world, <laughs> which I don't quite know what he's... Freaking hell world, folks. <sighs> yeah. It's, it's, it's even worse. It's a sci-fi world. <laughs> just sound familiar? No, not really. No. <laughs> not None of this mm-hmm. sounds familiar. Uh, this sounds like the ramblings of a lunatic, actually, so... Yeah. You know, you, you, you gotta. You, there's got to be a thing where you think like, maybe I've gone too far out when you post something to Great Awakening dot win and no one else comments on it. Like it's just <laughs> yeah, the site made just for the most off the goddamn rails posters. Sure, and those guys are like, Ugh. yeah, I'm not touching Ooh, that one. Boy, weird. This guy's this guy's a weird one. Like and not even, not even starting an argument about it or no, like, like saying mm. like hmm, pretty interesting. Can you tell me? Which like no, nope, not like even really twenty three different types of space vehicles <laughs> and robots, huh? Okay, expound <laughs> on that, please. Nope, nothing. 
very specific number for space vehicles, gotta say. Yeah. Well, 23 is the number that's... Uh, remember the Jim Carrey movie about 23? Uh, also, Michael Jordan's number, right? MJ. We love you. MJ, come on the show. We love you. Mm-hmm. Also, 45. Trump. Lots Whoa. of... <laughs> Lots of folks seem to have questions about their faith. Like user QuizWiz, who asked, I'm Catholic, is that a problem? Over on the boards at stormfront.org. A while ago, I read some guy's post about Catholics. It offended me a little. He said Catholics shouldn't be white nationalists. Mm. I was baptized a Catholic, so was my brother and sister. My parents were raised as Lutherans. As kids, we worshipped at both Catholic and Protestant churches. Now, I seldom go to Mass, but I still believe in Jesus. But the bottom line, I was baptized Catholic. Does that disqualify me from being a white nationalist? In Europe, they used to be divided by religion. Why should we, white people, fight about religion? Both groups believe in Jesus. The Jews will destroy white people if we fight with ourselves. They are united. I'm for the white race 200% till the day I die. It makes me sick seeing every other race unite. We should also be united. And eyes wide open replied, would it be a problem? Of course not. What do you think we are? A bunch of Jews? <laughs> and Aryan Kingdom added, be ye of any faith you wish as long as it doesn't support race mixing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I have that. I have that on my wall and uh, stitched. <laughs> Counter cross <laughs> yeah. be any faith. As long as there's no race mixing, please. It has a nice little flower motif on it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. Yep, very good. I'm for the white race, two hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Great. <laughs> I love when guys say that they're like, where, where do they stop the percentage wise? You know, because it's like <laughs> once you're over a hundred. You might as well just say a billion percent, a trillion percent. Two <laughs> hundred's honestly kind of low if you consider that. <laughs> yeah, it's only double. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Only two hundred percent. You support whites? All right, get out of here, Jew boy. You're done. Yeah. <laughs> you just might as well be black at that point. <laughs> if you're only if you're only in this two hundred percent, yeah, brother. Get your Kangol hat on and get out of here. Well, I found this uh, fun interaction over there on Tumblr. Good afternoon to everyone except Catholics. Mm. Uh, someone responded, As a pansexual Catholic witch, I feel like you need to reevaluate making blanket statements. Another woman said, I'm not Catholic, but like syncretic Catholicism that exists in Latin American countries where the population had to be Catholic to survive Spanish... Or Portuguese colonization is not the same as white people being Catholic, just a PSA. And then another gal said, I hope y'all know that Catholicism is low-key racialized, and I hope y'all are talking about white Catholics. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's make sure we're all talking about the bad Catholics, which are, of course, the, uh, the white ones. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're uh, just... It's just so funny how on Tumblr, it's no matter the topic, they all sound exactly the same. I hope you all know that blank is low-key racialized, and I hope you're all talking about white blank. <laughs> it's all the same shit. I hope you realize that uh, Trekkies are low-key racialized. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, that's, it's very Tumblr. It's, well, you know, you can't offend anybody. That's the thing. You can't. You gotta. You gotta play both sides of the fence and make sure everybody's happy. So, syncretic Catholicism. Uh, I wasn't sure what the hell that meant, but uh, it means uh, essentially means like pagan, the sort of Catholicism that involves like uh, plucking, rituals and stuff like plucking that. Plucking the feathers out of a chicken, sort of stuff. Yeah. Sure. The real. Uh, the real soul, soulful type of Catholicism, <laughs> I guess, is what we're getting at here. Basically, uh, some missionaries went there and they they got it like sixty percent over the line. There, <laughs> like, you know what? Uh, just keep doing the fucking whatever. 
<laughs> do the do the milk thing. Whatever. Throw the bones. That's fine. Just uh, yeah. But you just yeah. Jesus. But you gotta give yeah. money up to the Pope. So <laughs> that's how it works. Give us your tidings. That's how we're looking for. That's fine. Yeah. So uh, you will be going 100% going to hell. You're definitely not going to heaven. <laughs> we will not be letting you folks in. <laughs> You're going to go to a special kind of heaven that's a little more south of the typical one. Tears of heaven. Yes. Uh-huh. Great air clap. In the song. <laughs> Tears of heaven. And that was about, yeah, Portuguese. A Portuguese south guy American falling out of a window. Right? Oh, brother. <laughs> Oh, man. Jose M. went to the Catholic Community Forums, which is a whole ass website uh-huh. to post. Getting drunk is a mortal sin? Uh-oh. Question mark, exclamation point. Whoa. My deacon said that drinking is not a sin, but binge drinking is a mortal sin. This blew my mind. Now that college football season is coming up, I tend to take a 12 pack to each Saturday game. Is a 12 pack over a full day considered binge drinking for me? Well, there's no way I'd drive home, and I do tend to get a bit rowdy, so I'd say yes. So every Saturday, when we have a home game, I'm committing a mortal sin and cannot receive communion until I go to confession? Is this right? <clears throat> guy named Deloyd replied, Binge drinking is a very loose term, which evades mm. most definitions based on quantity consumed. It's really drinking to get drunk, which is different from drinking to get intoxicated. Legal definitions differ depending on where you live. But it's illegal to drive in the UK and the US with an alcohol concentration of 80 milligrams per 100 milliliters of blood. That's possible within two pints of average beer for an average male on an empty stomach. At that point, you are to be considered intoxicated under UK law, but not drunk, Mm. although it is legally considered drunk in some US states. That said, within three hours of drinking one of those pints, the blood alcohol content is back to normal. I wouldn't drive anywhere near that alcohol content. But I wouldn't consider myself drunk. I wouldn't consider drinking a bottle of wine by myself in an even, evening drinking to get drunk. Mm. This guy's really thought about this a yeah. lot. Like, am I binging? No, because I'm not doing this to get drunk. Mm-hmm. Certainly I am getting extremely <laughs> drunk <laughs> every night. Be, that's a side effect <laughs> of drinking. It's not the it's not the, the, the outcome I'm looking for. Yeah. But it is what is happening. Yeah. So I was actually hoping to drink a bunch of beer tonight and not get drunk. So <laughs> that means I'm not an alcoholic. It just kind of it uh, just hap- it happened. Yeah. It snuck up on me. Just one of those coincidences that happens seven times a week. <laughs> <laughs> so when I peel myself off my mattress. <coughs> mm. So, yeah, well, folks, if you uh, if you dabble in the uh, binge drinking, you're going to hell. I'm sorry. Well, that is unfortunate news for this next post. <laughs> Found it over posted a month ago in the subreddit. Are crippling alcoholism? I need to quit my job. I promised my girl I would last until April fifteenth without booze. She's Catholic, and it's like a tradition or whatever to give up something (laughs) until then. I told her I would accompany her and give up alcohol until then. I was doing all right until my bitch boss started threatening me because she didn't like some of my calls and is mad that I'm bad at fighting with customers. I'm just a really meek person, sorry. She has been harassing me for the past week, and I gave up and started a whiskey bender now. I'm going to lose it all if I stay at this place. This supervisor is a fucking monster. She literally started sending me angry messages today because I took a couple seconds off calls to drink some water. She's a fucking psycho. Psycho. Uh, Here's another thread he started shortly after he started dating his girl, uh, this Catholic girl. Called my girl at 1.30 a.m., had a three-hour convo. I remember none of it. (laughs) Mm. (laughs) Then a couple months later, he posted this thread. Today is two months since we started dating, and I don't remember most of it. So, yeah. Man. The job is least of your concerns right now, I would say. Boy. Well, the job is paying for the not remembering part. Hey, we wish them the best on their eventual marriage and six children. So Yeah. 
whose names he will not remember. <laughs> All of them. Uh, Deborah, Debbie. Uh, my name's Desiree. Yeah, right. Whatever. Can you get me another beer? <laughs> God Thanks. damn. And this girl just doesn't care. Something's up with her for just like. Uh, yeah, he's you know he's re- he listens really well. <laughs> you know, I, we were on the phone for three hours. And yeah, he's like, like real talkative. <clears throat> he's got this speech impediment. <laughs> kind of sounds like he like has like like maybe syrup in his mouth and he's talking. Uh-huh. But his eyes are always blood red. <laughs> got these crazy bags underneath his eyes. <laughs> Two piss holes in a snowbank, but God, they're beautiful. And he just smells like gasoline all the time. But man, he's such a charming guy. <laughs> he's got these cute pink little cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> this huge, huge red nose on him. <laughs> <laughs> this, this red traffic light face. <laughs> this just giant red totem sitting on his neck. I love it. Uh, dancing down the street swinging around the the light poles all right we're gonna stop right here because we're gonna finish the rest of this episode over on patreon.com slash report this post that's right if you enjoyed this first 20 ish to 30 ish minutes of the episode you'll be happy to know that there's about an hour extra of this one over there uh, on patreon.com slash report this post Head over there, and all you got to do is subscribe for five bucks a month. You'll get every single full episode with dozens of more posts a month, plus an additional bonus episode every single week. Unbelievable. This is literally millions of posts that we read on the air uh, every single month, possibly billions. I have not counted. In fact, I can't count. I'm actually illiterate as well, but irregardless, patreon.com slash report this post, and we'll see you over there, and God bless.